Happy Halloween, bitches. That's right. Sunday night football. It all comes down to this. The 3-3 three and three Minnesota Vikings taking on the allegedly 5-1 and one Sleepy Dallas Cowboys. America is rooting for the Vikings to beat America's team. Mm. Here are five keys for the Vikings to get it done on Sunday night and really send a statement to the rest of the league. Key number one, the new primetime Kirk. Now, I don't care that Kirk Cousins has a horrible primetime record. Oh, what uh, was a Monday night football game from 2016 with the Washington football team have to do with Sunday? Hmm. Really don't care. By the way, Kirk Cousins won his last primetime game, so bop, 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 Bottom line, it is still Kirktober, and Kirk is playing the best football of his career. He's the second highest rated quarterback in the National Football League at 105.6 behind only Tom Brady. Perhaps you've heard of him. He's PFF's third highest graded quarterback behind, again, Tom Brady and Derek Carr? It's a crazy world. Anyway, 13 touchdowns, two picks. The Cowboys are 28th in the league against the pass, which is an absolute anomaly since they're second in the league in turnovers with 14. And even with Trevon Diggs, seven interceptions, which is certainly sustainable. And it's definitely not three standard deviations above the mean, but yeah, whatever. Uh, but Kirk Cousins and Thielen and Jefferson and KJ. Oh, my. Oh, my. Gonna, woo. Boo. Scare the crap out of the Cowboys defense on Sunday night. Big time points in what's going to likely be a shootout. Next up, key number two for the Vikings to get a win on Sunday night. Dashing through Dallas with Dalvin freaking Cook. That's right. Even though, yeah, it's a little bit early for Christmas. Don't care. You already see the Christmas decorations coming out at Michael's because I go to Michael's a lot. But Dalvin's ankle is finally 100% off of the injury report, and you know that he is pissed off to prove all the haters and the losers wrong. He's missed two and a half games this season, put up a buck 49 against the Panthers week six, even with that bum ankle. But two full weeks, that thing is healthy. And the Cowboys, they ain't ready. And the only reason they're fifth in the league against the run is because it's so easy to throw against them. It's very akin to like the 2006 Vikings defense. But I think 33 has a big game in store for Mike. Micah Parsons for J-Ron, 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 Curse, Dan Quinn, and company. Woo! Bring it on. Next up, key number three for the Vikings to get a win on Sunday night. Rushman, come out and play. Uh, this is standard. Uh, every single game. Oh, if you can rush the pass, if you can get heat on their quarterback, if you can ma- uh, get them to make mistakes, oh, you win. It's crazy. And the Cowboys do respect. Still have one of the best offensive lines in the National Football League. It's not like it was a couple years ago, but it's still pretty damn good, especially with Lyle Collins coming back after his bribery deal. (laughs) That's such a very Cowboys story. Anyway, and Dak is going to be compromised mobility-wise with that calf injury, and the Vikings could and should get a lot of heat on number four. It should be Frank's red hot all up in that B, Carolina Reaper style. Woo! Daniil versus Terrence Steele, which is a great name for an adult film star, will be the matchup to watch. Also, interior pressure on center Tyler Beadish, the stupid badger, will be key as well, whether Pierce plays or not. Armand for Watts, James Lynch, double A-gap pressure, a little bit of Kendricks in my life, a little bit of Anthony Barr sacking Dak's ass, plus the two old Trojans and Cowboy teammates Tyron versus Everson is going to be one hell of a fight. Na, 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 na. Next up, key number four for the Vikings to get a win on Sunday. 12 CDs for one penny. Now, most will be too young or probably too old for that reference. Yeah, whatever. BMG, baby. But C.D. Lamb, who, by the way, was drafted ahead to Justin Frank and Jefferson, is becoming a problem in the National Football League. 33 catches, 497 yards, receiving four touchdowns this season on 49 targets. Call game against the Patriots week six. And he is branching out of the slot and becoming more of a threat outside the numbers, which he had to do with Michael Gallup having an injury early on in the season. And the Vikings secondary is going to be pressed without Patrick Peterson, Bree Dylan Johnson needs to keep playing well. Cameron Tiny Dancer needs to step up with this opportunity. Finally, stop biting his tongue on this whole thing. Mac in the slot when CD goes there is really going to have to bring it as well. And oh yeah, that other guy, Amari Cooper, uh, he, he's pretty good. He's pretty good uh, as well. And lastly, key number five for the Vikings to eat a W on Sunday. Oh, line, oh, line, oh, line, oh, line, oh, line, oh, line. Vikings pass protection has been the best of the Kirk Cousins era, but another big test Sunday night. And the Cowboys pass rush is no joke, even without Demarcus Lawrence. Randy Gregory is keeping his nose clean and getting after it. Uh, They've been using Micah Parsons all over the place as a pass rusher. Kid is an absolute stud, as well as defensive tackle O.C. Odigizua of UCLA, one of my favorites in the draft. Combined, those three have 63 pressures and eight and a half sacks on the season. They are a problem. And Dan 
Dan Quinn and old friend George Edwards, that's right, have cooked up a very fun, opportunistic defense. It really does remind you of those peak Falcons defenses. They're fun. They're highly variant. They're looking for the big play. They're looking for the knockout, and they can get it if the Vikings offensive line doesn't step up on Sunday night. Final score prediction. This is going to be a fun-ass game. Like, uh, as an objective observer, like, if you're not a Vikings or Cowboys fan, I think you'll just have fun watching this game. I think it's going to be a shootout. Uh, I think U.S. Bank Stadium is going to be rocking. Uh, Halloween costumes all over the place, and it's going to be great, man. It's going to be a fun game. Hammer the over, by the way. But I think Cousins and Dalvin and Jefferson and the Rushman, I think they all come out and, and play. I think they shut up a lot of critics on Sunday night. Give me Vikings 38, Cowboys 34. Vikings move to 4-3 and three and make a statement. Statement that hey, hey baby, hey, we're gonna make some noise in the NFC. We're gonna go on the run. We're the best three and three team in NFL history, soon to be four and three. Woo! Bring that ish on. Rah! Spooky. That's right. Uh, but your thoughts and our thoughts. Vikings versus Cowboys. What are your keys for the Vikings to get a win on Sunday night? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. It's Friday. Put a little something in the Venmo. Keep this warship going forward. But until next time, skull production value.